guys, welcome back. I'm doing a best value drugstore awesome products that are on the cheap. Um, I'm going to section it off and do makeup, skincare, and hair. So let's start with the makeup best part ever, in my opinion. Um, the Revlon Color Stay gets a lot of love here on YouTube, and it's an amazing foundation. This is a really good dupe for the um, MAC Studio Fix, um, but I kind of like this a little bit better. I, I won't lie. Um, I bought the Studio Fix and then kind of feel guilty about it because I know I can get this for how like twenty like sixteen dollars cheaper. And this is also one fluid ounce, <sighs> no pump, but you know, not a biggie. Amazing product. I think it's like ten dollars, ten to thirteen dollars. Awesome. A lot of uh, range of shades. Uh, next is Wet n Wild. I have two Wet n Wild products. This is the um, cream eyeliner. This is amazing, you guys. This is like four dollars. This is a complete dupe for the Mac um, Fluid Light Black Track, I believe it is. Amazing, amazing product. Four dollars. Um, this is the Maybelline Colossal Express. Um, this is not a particular favorite. It's just any kind of Maybelline mascara is my favorite. Basically, they're really cheap. They're all under like what six dollars. They last, you know, three months that you're supposed to use them. And you don't feel guilty throwing them away after three months because, you know, when you, especially, you know, the one time I think I bought, like, the Bad Gal Benefit Lash, spent $18 on it, had to throw away it after three months, you know, got a little dry, and I felt really awful because I was, like, 18, 20 bucks, whatever. This is what the brush looks like. It's just a um, slightly curved uh, brush, thick bristles. Works fine, in my opinion. They have the waterproof version, too. Um... Next, I have the other Wet n Wild. I probably should have shown them together. These are the eyeshadow trios. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this. Uh, Emily Noel does a million one reviews on these. Vintage or tacky, uh, vintage or tacky. I um, love her. This one's called Silent Treatment. This is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it comes with a the eyelid crease and then brow bone. Um, necessarily not in that order. You can obviously use them whichever way you want to do it. Um, in the back, it gives a little diagram of how to place the color. Um, down here, there usually would be like the little eyeshadow, some little weird eyeshadow brush that's so pretty much useless, and you know, the standard uh, sponge applicator. Depends on what you like. Um, next, there are lipsticks. I have one Maybelline. They're like uh, color sensation lipsticks. They look like this with the translucent top, silver bottom, color is on the bottom. This one is Fuchsia Fever. I don't know if this is a permanent color or not. Love this color. Um, you get excellent payoff. Pretty standard, you know, where these are like only $5. These are pretty comparable with some higher-end lipsticks. Love it. Next is the um, Revlon. This one's called Berry Hot. Okay, check out this color for a minute. This, this looks familiar. This is because this is up the amp. Basically, it's the same color for MAC. Same exact formula, pretty much. Same color, it's the same thing. This is like five something, the MAC one is 1450. Y'all do the math. This is the last one I have for makeup. This is the NYX. These are just the round, round lipsticks. Um, pretty standard, you guys know what these look like. This one's in pumpkin pie. Adore this color, colors on the bottom. Um, Excuse mine, mine look all multi. Goopy, beautiful neutral color, adore this. Um, my only complaint is that, it, like I said, it gets a little too creamy, but it feels really nice on the lips. And these are like about, I think I got this for like $1.99 at some little, you know, dollar store or whatever. Love it. Next is going to be skincare. I'm trying to move through these really fast because I don't want this to be a super long video. Um, Cetaphil, skincare, everyday. Adore this. Never gonna go back. Changed my life. This is the um, normal to oily skin. I use this once a day at least, sometimes twice if I really feel a little grimy. Um, really helped my acne big time. Um, during the winter, I use the Olay Active Hydrating Cream. This is like $5. I did, yeah, I like this. <laughs> you can tell it's like empty, completely empty. I just keep around the bottle to remember. Um, it has like a small fragrance. I think this comes also in the fragrance free or sensitive skin formula. Um, this is just the original. Really moisturizing, really um, sinks into my skin. Um, too heavy for me now in the summer, but winter in the winter. 
This is a multi-use um, kind of gel. This is a chafing relief powder gel. I do not use this for what it's supposed to be used for, which is kind of like chub rub. This is an excellent, excellent face primer. I wear it under my makeup during the summer. Gives me long lasting makeup. Love it. Um, it's kind of reminds me of, I don't know if you can see that the way it looks, it's really, um, really, really smooth. Just creates a nice base for your makeup. It's like five or six dollars. Um, again, another skincare favorite is the um, Persigel 10, the clean and clear for your pimples. Been using this since high school. Can't go wrong with it. I forget, it's like five dollars. Most of these are like five dollars ish. This one was three something. This is a recent purchase from my weekly homage to Lord Waldemar. I have an unhealthy obsession with Walmart. Anyways, this is called Everglow. Um, this is supposed to be like uh, the Jergens, you know, skincare thing. You're supposed to, it's supposed to deepen your skin tone like a, a gradual tanner. Um, I see a little bit of difference on my legs. I've only been using this for about a week. Best moisturizer. Great moisturizer. For the price, this is $3.60 something, less than $4. Amaze balls. Love it. Um, on to hair, we have Suave um, Professional, you know, their um, volumizing mousse. This was like two dollars, two something, under three dollars, whatever. Um, this really plumps up my hair. I have really fine hair, like really kind of thin, fine hair. I color it, I mean, obviously, so it kind of gives some boost. But this, when you blow dry your hair upside down in conjunction with this, bam! Lion Mane. Love it. Um, this is uh, almost out of this. I don't know if you can hear that. It's completely like down to this. I just really knocked that. Um, this is the Got To Be Guardian Angel 425 degree Fahrenheit heat protectant gloss finish flat iron balm. This really has protected my hair. I don't use a whole lot of heat on my hair anymore, but uh, I usually will blow dry it at least you know a couple times a week really really saved my ends because I have really poor his hair and it's, I could use all the help I get basically that was like I get, I think this came with like a little travel size too so it was like a twofer so this was really worth the money this is like under five dollars too this is a Garnier Fruity style surf hair um, this is a texturizing paste matte first of all smells amazing it smells like beach okay it smells like summer I love it um, as you can see, I've cut, put quite a bit of dent in this. This is kind of a cool product. Um, you can use it, like, if you've done, like, little beachy waves. Like, if you take your flat iron beach and just scrunch it. Gives it a little bit of texture. You can put it a little, you know, through dry, straight hair. Whatever you want to do. This is kind of a multi-purpose tool. Love it. $3. Last but not least is I got a 99er. This is baby powder. And... I use this in my hair like as a texturizer. Adore it. And someone's at the door. So I guess that's the end of my video. Thanks, guys.